What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Squat King, Scott McKeegan, representing Steel Star Fitness. And, um, I gotta stop with that shit, seriously. Anyway, <clears throat> today I thought I would make another video. Get out of the blue light there. Sipping on some Diet Pepsi. Yes, it has aspartame in it, but here I am, sipping on this confectionery drink, and um, a thought popped into my head, god damn, this is a small glass, or maybe I'm just big, I'm looking like uh, Andre the Giant, this is actually a big glass, so I, I'm kind of impressed by the way this looks, it might just be the angles, but... Fuck all that. Anyway, today's topic is the topic of do soft drinks, pop, soda, whatever you call it, do soft drinks have a place in a fitness lifestyle? And depends on what kind of soft drinks, and it depends on what kind of a fitness lifestyle you have. Now, if you're doing this shit strictly for health, certainly debatable, but keep in mind, this is diet soda, meaning it has zero or close to zero calories. I drink this all the time when I'm on a diet, and I will promise you, if you've been cutting before, it keeps your sanity. Um, now, if you're going to be drinking like full sugar soda, like just regular Coke, regular Pepsi, regular 7-Up, Dr. Pepper, whatever the case might be. That No, that's a problem. Now, if you're bulking, I could kind of see it. But keep in mind, guys, you're literally just injecting sugar into your body. Just, like, straight-up glucose, fructose. Like, not a good, um... Not a good solution. Now, <clears throat> I already know... All of you Whole Foods, all of you anti-vax mothers out there, all you natural oils using hippies are going to be like, oh my god, Scott, but look at you, you're such a hypocrite. You're drinking diet soda. That's going to give you cancer and it's going to kill you. Well, actually, if you look at the data, and again, I know me and the data have had a rocky relationship over the last couple months all this high volume training I've been doing, but it's been working like, all right, pecs are on deck, but the data, all right, I'm always going to go back to the data. The data is my main and the data says aspartame, not going to kill you. No correlation with cancer, but you know, you know, it does have a correlation with uh, permanent life-threatening diseases, diabetes, sugar, full sugar sodas, just saying. And um, even if you are bulking, man, like, don't be sitting there drinking sodas all the time. I'm going to do another video on, on dirty bulking and all that shit because I've been, I've been bulking, man. I've been bulking for over a year and it's going to be time to cut soon. Uh, my goal is to get to 200 pounds. It wasn't my goal in the first place. In fact, I wanted to do a very slow, controlled bulk with mini cuts. But I just found that this shit works way better. And um, we'll get into that in another video. But like I said, if you're drinking these sugary drinks, man, find something else. Like find, like, you know, get into diet drinks. Get into uh, the Coke Zeros. Get into the Diet Pepsis of the world. And by the way, I, this is not a paid advertisement. You could be drinking Big 8 soda for all I care. I, I really don't. Excuse me. But, regardless, from a health perspective, right? Because, I mean, having a stomach full of carbonation, I mean... That can't be good for you. I mean, all the time, right? So, 
I would recommend if you're going to be drinking sugary drinks, drink some juice. Drink some OJ, some OJ, you know, in the morning. Drink some water. I love water. I usually drink water. I drink, like, well, the recommended dose, which is about, like, a gallon of water a day. Because an active person's recommended amount. It's like four liters, right? I drink about four liters a day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say, guys. If, you, if you're a really big fan, diet soda, drink your diet soda. There's nothing wrong with doing that. And in fact, if you want something tasty, if you want to stimulate your taste buds while you're cutting, while you're down on 50 grams of carbs a day, this is the answer. Another thing is those, um, those little, uh, uh, what do you call them? The little Kool-Aids that you put in your drink. Not actual Kool-Aid, because it's full of sugar. But, you know, those little calorie-free Kool-Aids that you get? The little things that are like that, and you just kind of, like, pop a little bit of a, just a little bit of the liquid into it. They might be a good idea. The Tangs, the Mios of the world. Um, I find the purple Kool-Aid one gives me headaches, though. I don't know what's that, what that's about. That, that can't be a good thing, so I try to just stick to some Coke Zero or some Diet Pepsi. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with drinking that. Um, realistically, I think in moderation, full sugar sodas are okay as well. If you can't stand any of the other, uh, low calorie options. Um, but again, moderation is key. Don't be drinking that shit every day. And again, like, don't be drinking diet Pepsi every day either. Cause I mean, like, it's bad enough that I drink coffee, like from a, from a teeth staining perspective, it's also not a good thing. So I hope this guy, this was a little bit informative for you guys. Um, I hope it was thought provoking. And if it was, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And, um, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway when we get to a thousand subscribers. Um, going to give some swag away. So make sure that you become one of those subscribers before we hit 1000. Cause once we hit 1000, you're not going to be entered in the draw, man. If you're number 1,001, well, it sucks to be you. We keep coming in at a focus there, but that's okay because I said everything I wanted to say. And um, in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.